Uh, for me, I think it's um, the generation and development of an idea uh, through a certain process uh, that leads to an outcome. So this outcome could be uh, product, services, technology, operational, non-operational, functional, non-functional, but it's the same process itself we follow. Uh, funny enough, that was during my study of interior design. So I was prepared to be interior designer, but uh, within the, the, the course of uh, learning, I got a course in furniture design. And in that course in particular, I decided that uh, I don't want to be interior designer, but I want to be product designer in particular. Uh, due to the reason that I believe a product a product can become maybe a legacy and can survive. So I want to keep my name surviving for years to come. No doubt, straightforward to the answer, it's Campana Brothers. Uh, I've been following them for years and years before even having the honor and the opportunity to, to have this workshop with them closely for one week in Sao Paulo. But I think uh, for me, they are the, the closest to my philosophy and design as well, especially that uh, I like that in their work, there is always that emotional connection to their Brazilian culture. Uh, they put it in a very uh, interesting way, very contemporary, uh, but there is a life into, into their product. It's a Brazilian life that's there. There's no particular place, but I would say every, every, everywhere around me. Um, uh, Dubai definitely uh, is a very rich uh, source of inspiration for me. Uh, I spend most of my time here, but everywhere I go in Dubai or anywhere else, um, I, I really get uh, inspired, especially the most crowded places. I, I do love to uh, feel the, the uh, integration uh, within the city life, uh, within the people. Uh, listening to their uh, conversations and uh, seeing the traffic and the building and the plants, everything. So I think everywhere I go, my eyes keep picking things around and it, it gets processed in my, in my brain. I would say wood uh, because I, I'm not sure if it is because I was trained on wood uh, when I was living in New Zealand, but uh, I think I love the warmth and the, again, the life in the species. Uh, it's not, uh, versus the others, it's not a static uh, material that the minute you cut or you use, it doesn't reform. Uh, wood you have to take care of, and you have to appreciate how it ages and how it, uh, it moves and how it changes with time. Uh, but it does give warmth to any place you put it in. If, if you have a complete concrete place and you put just a small uh, wooden table or something, it's just you, you start immediately feeling the warmth in the space. So I do enjoy uh, wood, and, wood and the variation of species that we have within this material. To know more about product design and its states in the Middle East, please join us on 30th of April uh, between 6.30 and 8.30 in Dubai Design District at the Constantino showroom to uh, uh, listen to me and the other panelists discussing that topic. <laughs>